Hey guys, so today, as you can see, it's all about oysters. I'm going to teach you how to shuck them properly and safely. And also just to make a couple of simple marinades on the top. I'm going to have an Asian inspired one and just a simple classic shallot vinegar. Oysters are such a treat when you go out to restaurants, but why not have that treat at home? And with fish to your door, you absolutely can. And what a great way to impress your guests. However, a really important thing to remember when you're shucking oysters is safety. So before we shuck our oysters, the first thing we're going to do is start with our sauces. And that will allow all the flavors just to really get to know each other and just marinate super well while we get on to shucking our oysters. So we'll start off with the classic one first which is just a good quality red wine vinegar. So I'm using Cabernet Sauvignon red wine vinegar. So that just goes straight in here. We then add a little bit of caster sugar because that just cuts through the acidity of the vinegar. And then we add our shallots. And here I've just cut them up super fine, as you can see. And that will just increase the surface area and also ensure that you don't just get a big bit of shallot in your mouth, which nobody wants. And there we have our first super simple sauce. Well, this is all about personal preference. That's the one thing you've got to remember. Some people prefer a little bit of spice in there, so we got like Tabasco. Some people really like that acidity, which goes amazingly well with the brininess and the creaminess of the oyster, which is why we have our vinegar dressing here. We're gonna talk you through another one today, and that's an Asian inspired sauce. I first had this when I was at an Asian restaurant a few weeks back, and it worked so well. I'm kind of normal and classic girl when it comes to oysters. Um, but the base is just a little bit of sesame oil, can be quite rough on measurements here. Take a little bit of mirin, and what that will do is add the sweetness without having to add sugar. So just a little bit in there, and then the saltiness will come from the soy. Make sure you use light soy sauce here, because you don't want it too overpowering, so just about a teaspoon of that. And then for that hit of heat without using chili, we're going to use fresh ginger. You want to make sure that it's really fine, so we're going to actually just grate it in. So good amount of ginger again depending on how spicy you like it i do like quite a lot of heat with my oysters so let's go in with a lot of ginger and then garlic clove we'll also add a little bit of lemon zest and that will add a citrusy hit without a real acidity so i'm not going to add any lemon juice to this one just the zest final touch is just a small bunch of coriander again quite paralleled view on coriander but I'm a big fan so I'm adding it but you don't need to if you are not. So that just gets chopped up super fine and there we have our Asian inspired dressing literally ready in a matter of minutes and now we can get on to shaking our oysters. A really important thing to remember when you're shaking oysters is safety. So you need to use a special knife you can also get this from fish to your door and a simple tea towel will do the job just fold it into layers so it's thick and protect your thumb so you just tuck your thumb under here and tuck your oyster in and firmly and securely hold it in place. You then get your knife and what you want to do is just again firmly but carefully just dip it into the hinge and push down and just wiggle your knife down until it starts to lift. You then want to take your knife and just wipe it as there's sometimes a little bit of grit in the oyster which you don't want to get inside and then just move it around the outside of the oyster. Then the top is fully loose so you can just remove that and just scrape that out and then you need to remove the muscle from the underneath of the shell so again just take your knife super carefully and just jiggle it round and your oyster has become loose super easy just remember be careful so literally within a matter of minutes you have an incredibly impressive starter or just something to serve while your guests are arriving having drinks so make sure you serve them in some ice just to keep them nice and cold and you can have your two separate bowls or if you just want to stick to one that is absolutely fine and the most important thing about an oyster is that keep them cold and fresh so I am going to go in with the classic one. So make sure you don't add too much because you don't want to overpower the beautiful taste of the oysters because they are quite subtle. And a little bit of Tabasco. And it just slips straight in. 